I feel really um, just lost. I'm like, I don't know if it's worth it to continue at this point. Union Institute and University student Marina Bridges is just one year away from earning her doctorate degree, but her future is now uncertain. We have no idea what is going to happen with the school. The U.S. Department of Education sent this letter to the university last month, claiming Union owes at least $750,000 in federal financial aid to its students. It says the university has not paid salaries in three pay periods. It says, quote, it is unclear if UIU has the financial resources to resume educational instruction with minimal staff and resources. Former student Allison Boudet is shocked it's come to this point. It's really unfortunate because I loved going to school here. The faculty were amazing. I gained so much information and it helped me in my career. In an email sent to students September 8th, the UIU Vice President for Academic Affairs said, quote, we want to assure you that currently there are no plans to close Union Institute and University. However, we have not yet obtained the necessary funding to begin the fall term as planned. The next term is scheduled to start on November 6th, which the university said would give them more time to get the aid to students. Now, the Department of Ed expects UIU to submit proof of more than $12 million in surety to offset financial risk if UIU closes. Students are worried they could lose financial aid altogether. With so much uncertainty, Bridges has this message to institute leaders. Quit stringing us along, quit giving us these really vague sort of, you know, I don't know. Hopefully by this date, we'll have an answer. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.